Herzlich willkommen zu Postmortem. One must die. Extended Sky Cut. Ja, was soll ich zum Spiel sagen? Wir starten lieber gerade rein, dann sehen wir selber. Welcome to Postmortem. This room functions as a ich kann nicht lesen, das ist fail. Tutorial. Follow these, <coughs> these guides to learn how to play the game or step through the doors to skip the tutorial. Continue. Use VASWASD or the arrows to move around. Good. You can use E to interact with the world, like doors or furniture. A magnifying glass icon shows objects that can be interacted with. Walk up to the table on the left and press E to read the newspapers on it. Duck. Case profile 2442 G2, country Galicia. Date October the 18th, 1897. Population 1.9 million. Expected are plus 3 per month. A country in its early stages of industrialization, torn by almost five years of violent domestic conflict called the term oil. Operative assigned pending review status incomplete. You can also use E to talk with others. A speech bubble will appear above them. During conversation, use number keys 1 till 9 or your numpad to make dialogue choices. Now walk up to the character and speak with them. Hello, lady. What are you doing? Welcome. Hey. The powers that be demand you take one life tonight. You, the choice is yours. The choice is mine. We are sending you to Galicia tonight. How much do you know about the place? Not much. Well, no matter, you're not there to meddle with mortal affair. Get in, pick a life, get out. Do be careful, however. The place is pretty unstable right now with a violent civil conflict between the new Acher and old Acher groups. I have some questions. Oh dear, you're one of those inquisitive types. What do you need to know? What is the conflict about? There's two dimensions to the issue. First is the question of tradition and preserving the real Galician cultural heritage in light of rapid industrial and economi economical progress. Second is the struggle between the wealthy business owners and their workers demanding better treatment and pay. The two dimensions seem to align themselves with new ages on one side and old ages the other. Anything else or can we move on already? Yeah. Actually, I wanted to ask about you. Why, ah, yes, let's grab some tea and biscuits and spend the next four hours chatting, Aldi. Because I do not have anything better to do tonight, right? Anything, anything else or can we move on already? I don't have any more questions, let's move along. Good, the turmoil is why we are sending you to a fairly peaceful and safe gala. You know the type high-profile fundraising event for some vandalized high school. Shouldn't be much trouble. Alright. In any case, don't get too involved. Just be prompt and efficient. We don't do overtime, you know. Understood. Good. This isn't some sort of a game. You don't win a prize at the end. Just claim us alive tonight, whatever works for you. Oh, and one more thing. Not that it matters, but what gender would you like to appear to the mortals? Male, of course. Poof, all done. Magic. Now we go up ahead and then we'll transfer you. Understood. You can investigate various items and speak to your characters in order to decide whom to choose. Or you can choose on a whim. Whatever you deem most fair. You can also bring up your notebook by pressing Q or N. That will get filled with information you collect. Try it now. Puck. Notebook. Galicia. Objective. Your objective is simple. You must claim one life and only one from the country of Galicia. 
whom you choose is irrelevant to us. <laughs> Be prompt and efficient. Good luck. Close the notebook. Once you have made up your mind, press tap and walk up to the person you would like to claim. That's all. Hope you enjoy the game. Open the door with E and step through to begin. So, also wir sind der Tod und wir müssen jetzt einfach eine Person entfernen von ihrem Platz auf der Erde in Galicia. Und wir haben gehört, es ist nicht stabil, die Stadt, die haben politische Probleme und da müssen wir jetzt mit allen ein bisschen reden und schauen, dass wir da... Ah, da können wir uns umziehen. Oh nein. Schauen, dass wir nicht zu viel Probleme bereiten mit unserer Auswahl. Hallo. Hallo. How are you, sir? My name is Gary. I'm a student at the Rose Hill High, volunteering at the event tonight. Oh, what are you doing? Just small stuff, carry food, get people's coats, nothing major. What is this event for? Oh, you must have heard of the incident, right? Our school got vandalized all bad. Some folks weren't happy that it allows both new age and old age students. Uh, what are... What are old agers and new agers? Wow, you must not be from Galicia. Old ages and new ages are the names of the two sides of the Galician turmoil. The first wants to preserve our culture and tradition, mainly composed of small local business owners and various labor workers. The new ages are mostly the wealthy businessmen or big public speakers who are pushing for industrial progress and more open economy and immigration laws. Oh, I see. Anyway, yeah? Yeah? What do you study at your school? Math, liter literature, history, all sorts of things. What's your favorite subject? Well, I do like our histori history class, especially the archaeology arche arche <laughs> <Archeologi> bits. <laughs> and I took an elective in business marketing. That was really fun too. So, why did, you why did you decide to volunteer tonight? Well, I think it's good to get out and meet new successful people at an event like this. So you're mainly here for networking? Oh, well, of course not. I'm here to help out my school too. But it doesn't hurt if I benefit from it too, right? <laughs> no, but it hints you have some ulterior motives. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off that way. I just meant that it's good for both my school and me, and I get to meet Mr. Selden in person. Really, Mr. Selden is such an inspirational businessman. What is Mr. Selden's business? What? How can you come to his event and not know? I am not from here. Well, he is the owner of Selden Glassware Incorporated, the biggest provider of glass products in all of Galicia. But it's amazing how he got here. I mean, he took his father's so-so business and completely turned it around, finding new markets and opportunities. How? How did he manage that? Originally, his father produced only small home products, glasses, jars, that kind of stuff. But when Mr. Seldon took over, he expanded to windowing with a whole new method of cheaply making glass sheets. It was a brilliant move on his part. I mean, he really is like a textbook example of a successful businessman. Sounds you look up to him. Uh, sounds like you look up to him a lot. Oh, in many ways, yes. Although, I wouldn't want to just pursue business for the money. But isn't the whole point of business to make money? But it's really what you do with that money that matters, isn't it? Too often it is used for further undermine our Galician roots. You are fucking right, man. There are so many beautiful things that define what being a Galician is. A language, music, food, even something like when we tap three times on the mirror when entering a house as a guest. No other country actually does that. I thought that was so cool when I, cool, not cool, when I learned it in anthropology class. 
Uh, it's not that cool. <laughs> I mean, just really think it's important that we don't let money or success make us forget those things. You know, too often the new age is pursue progress for progress's sake, completely abandoning our culture. But what if the new is better than the old? Of course, there's many inventions that are useful, like the automobiles, but progress should add to our legacy, not to take away from it, like the with the baker's revolt. What's the ba- what was Baker's revolt? Apparently a new age baker was trying to save money by taking raisins out from our traditional holiday bread. By argument followed that led to him getting shot. But it's just a horrible example of how profits make us forget our tradition. I see how those small cuts can, ad can add up over time, slowly forgetting your roots. In the end, as the big industrialists grow their businesses, The small folk who cherish our culture just get left behind. But if business is booming, isn't the small folk who benefit most with cheaper prices and more job opportunities? Maybe at first, but in the long run, the market just gets flooded with cheap factory farm goods that are all the same. It erases our heritage and it destroys small or fabulous shops. Small family shops can't compete with big new ages, many have been closing down. What if they all closed and only one big store was left? They could do whatever they want, make prices high or pay their workers very little. They would have so much control. <coughs> uh, isn't that survival of the fittest? <coughs> That's such a new age of saying, that's exactly what they want you to think. Look at Trenter. When the old ages locals renovated old buildings and opened beautiful gardens, it attracted rich industrialists and their hipsterian children who <laughs> slowly pushed them out, benef benefiting from their work. That's not evolving our culture, that's taking it over. And the governing government did nothing, lobbied by New Age People of Peace Party to keep quiet. Public never realized swayed by their massive propaganda, the old age of boys got completely marginalized. That's not what democracy should be. No surprise, riots followed. That's terrible. Yes, exactly. That's why the TFF came out about to give old ages their voice back. What the fuck is TFF? Whoa, you're really not from here, are you? No, not really. Oh, one of my classmates is an immigrant too, but anyway. The Trend of Freedom, of course, is the biggest group that organizes many protests and events to bring attention to the old age cause. They're the only ones fighting for the small folk. Oh, are they the peaceful ones? I learned all about that in history class. There, were, there was a protest in Trento a while back and the government sent in soldiers to contain it. Many innocent people got hurt, some even died. The TFF was founded as a result of that, but now because of more new age pressure, the government calls them terrorists because apparently they are responsible for some of the violent acts too. You seem to align with their views. I mean, sometimes if you care about your rights and love your country, but the government doesn't listen, sometimes you just need to stand up and make them listen, right? Mm -mm -mm, no, I don't think you're right. But haven't we been trying for a few years now? And the situation is only getting worse. Look at the auto Ottoman factory. People here have been protesting their low wages. Everyone applauded their efforts. But nothing changed. Still, an armed uprising is not an answer in this situation. Then what is the right answer? Should we just keep talking knowing our pleas are falling on empty ears? You need to learn to talk better and be patient. <laughs> Perhaps you have a point. What do you think we need to do? Um, okay, sehr viel <coughs> Antworten, sehr viel Text. Ich habe gerade nicht erwartet, dass wir gerade mit so viel Text überhüpft werden. Uh, diplomacy requires communication. You need better ways of getting your point across. Hmm, I'll definitely think about that. Thank you for your valuable input. In any case, I should probably check on the other guests, see if they need anything. Bye. <coughs> so 
So, das wäre also unsere erste Person, die wir angesprochen haben. Wir haben jetzt gerade schon sehr viel gelernt über die Geschichte von dieser Stadt. Ich kann wirklich gesagt nicht erwarten, dass, es, dass wir es mit so viel Text zu haben. Ich laufe es einfach mal rum. Oh. Das ist noch locked. Ja, auf jeden Fall mal schnell schauen, wie groß das ganze Gebiet ist. Oh, jetzt habe ich den schon wieder vergessen, wenn wir geredet haben. Ah, mit dem haben wir geredet, ja. Okay, das sieht gar nicht so groß aus, auf den ersten Blick. Ah, da geht es zwar noch weiter. Okay, aber überschaubar auf jeden Fall. Gut, ähm, was ich noch anmerken will, bevor wir die Episode abschließen, es gibt auch eine Gratis-Version von dem Spiel. Wo, glaube ich, einfach sie nicht drin ist. Ich bin nicht sicher, Mysterious Lady hat es wird nicht implementiert sie dort. Auf jeden Fall, äh, man kann zahlen, was man will. Ich glaube, von 2 Dollar ist das niedrigste bis 20 Dollar. Fällt interessant an, sehr, 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 sehr story-driven. Aber ich habe. Oh, jetzt klippe ich sie gerade ein bisschen. Entschuldigung. Was machen die denn? Ja, auf jeden Fall bin ich gespannt, was wir hier noch werden erfahren an Story, bevor wir uns dann endlich entscheiden, wer von diesen Leuten mehr entfernen werden. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und hoffentlich bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss zusammen.